What we eat is a fundamental part of who we are. From farm to fork, the decisions we make affect the world around us. Just consider, 95% of our food comes from the soil, so keeping it healthy is vital. Stock-free farming is about eating well without causing damage to the planet or its inhabitants. Such an approach is one way of thinking in a constellation of ideas for living with the land. There's several ethics behind what we do. I mean, it's based really around sustainability, which is a difficult word to define because the word is so overused these days. But sustainability, from our point of view, really means that we can continue growing food here on this site forever. Conventional agriculture will tend to be bringing most of the tears in through chemical fertilisers. Some of the large organic farms or even some of the smaller organic farms will also be bringing fertility from outside the farm and that will often be in the form of manures. So what we're doing is we're using the fertility from within our land and um, using it to its optimum value rather than importing somebody else's land. Uh, and that leads to a product which is animal free, so stock free and certainly suitable for vegans but suitable for anybody who wants to eat food which is of a more sustainable type. It's important for us that animals are not exploited in the name of food production. This is a, a vital part of what we do. But it is really about using land in a, in a far better and more optimal way. Yeah, in order to be stock free we have to make sure that we can maintain fertility in the long term. This is very important. We also have to maintain organic matter for soil. This is really important because fertility long term is dependent on organic matter. So we're, we're growing specific crops which are feeding the ground. Some of them fix nitrogen from the, from the air, put it back in the soil, leave it for the following crops. Some take phosphates and potash from deeper down and recycle it. So we're using plants as a way of feeding the soil. And this is within a rotation. We have green manures within a rotation. We have very long rotations of up to nine years. And there's a sequence of different crops. They're, they're in a specific sequence in terms of avoiding pests and diseases and also being able to use the soil in the best possible way. Biodiversity to us is really important because um, we rely on it primarily for, for pest control. The greater the number of insects you have on any one site, the less any one particular insect will become a problem. So we've excluded all animal inputs completely from the farm. We don't have any animal inputs at all. Uh, we have livestock in the soil, we have worms and various soil bacteria and fauna and flora, we, 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 we use that to our advantage but we don't use any products from livestock at all. So we are allowed within organic standards to use manure from any source provided it's reasonably ethical in the sense of the way the animals are kept. However, we weren't really comfortable with that concept of using manure from another holding to support our fertility. So we developed a stock for organic system, which means that we can develop fertility from within our own farm without resorting to bringing in manure or fertility from a neighbouring farm. And if we're bringing land from somewhere else, which is effectively what you do, if you bring manure from another farm, you are taking somebody else's land to support your vegetable growing. And we felt that was, um, in the long term, unsustainable and also unethical in the sense of the exploitation of livestock on those particular farms. And we can continue to feed a lot of people by doing it this way. And that's the important factor, is how many people we feed per hectare, really, rather than how much we produce. At the end of the day, I'm concerned about the health of the planet, and I want it to continue. It's a beautiful world. It's a fantastic place. Uh, I want it to continue in this way and to improve. And I think people are becoming more aware of these issues, and people do want to do something about the future more.